From left to right, we first have Jackie, Cetrion, who's a new character and looks very godly, if you will. So she must be connected to Chronica in some way or another. Then we have Kano, Garrus, Frost, Jax. Uh, we still don't know how he's gonna look like eventually, but it's good maybe to feature him in the next combat cast since we have all the roster here. We have then Johnny Cage, uh, who was revealed just a few days ago. Devora, Baraka, Cassie Cage, Kung Lao, Coral Khan, Aaron Black, who received a complete overhaul and looks quite different, almost as if he was a new character. Liu Kang, Scorpion, Sub Zero, Raiden, Collector, who's also a new character and looks almost identical to Jake Sully from Avatar. Then we have Cabal, Jade, Scarlet, and of course the almighty noob Saibot, who looks like this. Then we have Sonya, Kitana, and finally the Outworld Emperor Shao Kahn. There are 9 additional slots which are reserved for guest characters and thankfully they haven't been leaked because this would have ruined the hype for what I consider the most interesting aspect in Mortal Kombat. I personally think that the roster is really solid and it includes pretty much the most popular characters. I mean we have Noob Saibot back so this is really great. But I'm sure that the Netherrealm Studios did not really want him to be revealed this way. In any case, I'm overall happy, but at the same time I'm slightly disappointed that Kronika, who's the main antagonist, isn't a playable character. But we'll see if there is a mod that will allow you to play her as we saw with Sindel and Baraka in MKX. We'll see that in the future. But for now, this is it for this video.